Hey there, uh, this is Mike with the uh, Split Bus. Um, hi there. Um, I am just about to start a project for my engine, which is I'm just building a second engine. And right now I have a 1968 in here, uh, which is a Stroker 1968, which uh, has a 74 millimeter uh, um, stroke and 92s. And what I'm going to build is a 2332. The 2332 will be 94s with an 84 um, uh, crankshaft. Um, so uh, I'm just starting that now. What that allows me to do is keep this engine in there and the bus running while I'm uh, building the other motor. So I'll show you where I am right now. I actually, I don't have some of the parts. I don't have my case yet, but I do have the following parts here. I have my SCAT, uh, or let's see, SCAT 84 millimeter crankshaft with my flywheel. And I've just set that up there on there. I don't have the, uh, I don't have the gland nut underneath it yet, but it's pretty tightly in there. And what I'm gonna do is um, work on setting up this crankshaft. But I'll show you what else I've got. I've got my scale for checking my uh, rod weights, which I did. Um, they were all five, 540 or 541 grams. I have my, I'm doing an FK42 camshaft, which to some people for that size engine, they make it think it's a uh, tractor engine because it's gonna be super low RPM torque starting at 1500 to about 5500 or 6000 and um, this will have 1.4 ratio rockers with this cam if you look at this fk42 um, i got straight cut gear so here's the here's the one that came with the kit but um, i'm going to run the straight cut gear you can see i've attached the straight cut gear onto here i have these 5.5 uh, inch rods with the uh, 3 8 bolts there which may need to be clearanced we'll see and then I have just some other random stuff here like I have all my bearings and I have my lifters here scat lifters with the uh, or that is yeah I'm sorry angle lifters with the angle cam so that the uh, warranty still works I have my sort of my clip tool uh, for this clip, which is gonna go on the crankshaft. And then I went ahead and put my two bearings on there, marked them, have my two bearings on there with the uh, dowel pin down below, facing the flywheel, same on this one, dowel pin below, facing the flywheel. And I have put on, over here, my, uh, two gears on high, so they have been heating up now for a little while. They're probably already hot enough, but um, I'll just let them heat up a little bit more. And what I did here is, this is just the first step setting up the crankshaft. I took the first Woodruff, uh, what do you have, whatever you call it, Woodruff pin here, and I, uh, put that in and pounded it in just a little bit with this uh, little ball peen hammer. And you know, I have my, I have all my stuff ready to go here. So let's see, I will grab my gloves. Let's hope this goes to gear. And now remember when I put on that straight cut cam gear here on the crankshaft, it has to slip on with the little indicators that is to say, on this one, you've got two little dots on my straight cut. I've also got two little dots. So I'm going to um, grab it over here. And my two little dots. Well, it was hot enough to smoke up my... Uh, welding glove here just a little bit. So 
let's see. I've got to put on straight cut cam gear. Then I put on my spacer. Then I put on my distributor drive gear. And then I put on this clip. Now putting on this clip is usually kind of a hassle because you don't want to scrape up your journal. But uh, all right, let's give this a shot. Here is the drive gear warming up my. All right, that worked great. Went on there. So, and I have my. Boy, that burnt this glove. I have my two dots here facing the flywheel. Perfect. Now I'll take my spacer. The spacer fits on fine without being heated up. And now I'm gonna get my screwdriver drive gear, which is not directional, so this can go either way. So put that on. That's on there now. Perfect. So now, what has to happen is this clip right here has to go on. And what I've got set up here is, I'm not sure this is gonna work, but because I don't have like a good end Basically what I did is got the, I got the uh, crank is sitting on top of the flywheel and it has the, the thrust bearing. This is pointed down towards the flywheel. Then I have parts cleaned all of this and cleaned out all of these um, oil passages. And then what I did, this bearing here, dowel pointed down. I have my straight cut uh, cam gear, and I have my spacer, and I have my distributor drive gear, and then I have my clip, and I have my top bearing here, then I have my oil slinger, and I have my Woodruff key on here. So now what I'm doing is I grabbed one rod. You can see this rod here. I can get this set up. This desk is a bit of a mess right now. Um, I weighed all the rods, and uh, so they're all in good shape in terms of the, being the same weight. What I did is I took one of these and uh, took out my ARP bolts and. What I'm going to do is fit my rod bearings on here and I'm just going to see if I can get this uh, fit, fitted onto one of my rod journals. So here are my rod bearings. I'll grab two of these. Yeah, and they have the little tangs. So, keep the tangs on the same side. So, what I'm gonna do is, let's see if you can see this here. Put the tang there. Oops, get this within view here. Put the tang there. Just push this thing into place. good. See this? So basically if I look if I look at this really closely, let's see, you have the tang here, bearing going around here, and I 
put the same thing on this thing here. So I'll put the tang in. this uh, assembly lube on there. Alright, now the one thing that I was looking up that I'm not sure of is the um, direction on this, but this is the number one, I believe, to go down, I'm putting the tangs down, I believe the cam I put them, put it on like this. The tangs going down like this. Uh, it's going off to the side like that. Okay, so we're gonna put the tangs down. And put it like this. Now that both tangs have to point in the same direction. So this, like this. Kind of collapse down the. Uh, let's see the bearing on this. nicely. Alright, we've got two of them in there. The number's facing this way. So, this one is going to face towards me. The number's facing to my left. So I've got this rod here. So far these two rods spin great. Issues as far as the bearings go. This kind of collapses the collapses the bearing onto the journal. Okay. Oh, that's great too. Okay. So I guess an experienced engine builder know to test kind of your side play and the plastic gauge. These all, you know, what I can tell you is they all feel the same and they all spin great. I did not plastic gauge these and I don't know in terms of the end play, but they don't really seem to rub while it's vertical. So, you know, I'm gonna get that in a case as soon as I get the case and then we're gonna um, hopefully that will all uh, work 
fine without any issues. Uh, I mean, they all seem to actually spin great. So, well, it's possible that I did them 180 degrees in reverse. I'll only know that once I get the case, but um, hey, it's on. They're, they're in. I have the, the crank set up as far as all the, the, the gears. Cam gear, distributor drive gear. I have the bearings in there. I have them marked. Even though <laughs> I didn't mark them from the case, I just marked them visually so that I would know approximately where halfway was when I'm lining this up with the dowel pins. You can only do what you can do. I don't have the case. But said I weighed the uh, weighed the rods and they all uh, were very close within one gram of each other and then this is my straight cut cam gear you know with the FK42 so you know there's definitely some um, concern about 3 8 ARP bolts uh, hitting the cam and having to be clearanced and that means like just grind, sanding or grinding a little bit of this ARP bolts off and I really am not going to do that until I see you know how I try when I try to fit them if they have uh, clearance or not I'm hoping this is an 84 crank so everybody says the 80 between 82 and 84 you go from uh, easy turnkey to pain in the ass in the 84s and the 86s, but I have no experience with it, so uh, I won't know that until I get there. So far, this is great, and this is gonna have the 94 piston, so this should have some really good power. Um, thing is, uh, looking at the cams, you know, I'm gonna go with the FK42, and that's gonna have 1.4 lifters, and that's supposed to give me like quite a lot of lift and really good low RPM torque but if you put in the higher RPM uh, ones you don't get that much low you, you know the torque doesn't start until 2500 or 3000 RPM and then it goes all the way up to like 8000 where you're getting 200 plus horsepower with this size engine but I don't want to be revving it in the bus like that I just want it to be super you know powerful you know starting at 1500 RPM just like a tractor just you know, pull, pushing the um, uh, geared up. I have a geared up transaxle. Uh, what does it have? A 388 uh, with stock bus gears. So you know, there's plenty to push um, if I, when I get to the low RPM. So, okay, that is the crank setup, and uh, I will uh, as soon as I got something else to do, <laughs> I'll make another video.